They're not bad. And it looks like they're having a lot of fun. When I was a teenager, I really wanted to be in a rock band, but I, I never was. That may have had something to do with the fact that I can't sing and I can't play any musical instruments. I was good at math, though, so I bet I could have been a manager of a rock band. You're going to need some graph paper for today's lesson. So hit your pause button and go get some graph paper. If you don't have any graph paper, go to mastermath.info, go to the lessons page, and towards the top you'll see supplies, plain graph paper. Download and print a couple of sheets of that so we can work on these problems today. Well, let's say you know this really good rock and roll band and they come to you and say, hey look, we're starting to make some money, we're playing some dances and and it's going pretty well, but we don't understand how they figure out what they're going to pay us. And we need a manager who can help us understand that kind of stuff and negotiate good deals for us. And you say, well, I might be able to help, I'm, I'm good at math, tell me about your last performance. And the band says, well, we earned $125 for playing at the dance. And we know that that included a set fee, a basic fee for us to come in and set up and so forth. Plus, we earned 25% of the ticket sales. And we know that the dance sold $300 worth of tickets. But we can't figure out how much they paid us for the setup, how much we'd earned if they'd sold $400 worth of tickets. Maybe you can help us with that. And you think, yeah, I probably can. I, I know something now. I know that there's a constant rate of change. That every time they sell a ticket, the band gets 25% of it. So the total revenue for the band is going up at a constant rate of 25%. And that constant rate of 25% would mean that if I multiply 25% times the ticket sales, I'm going to come up with how much we earn for those that amount of ticket sales. And I know I could rewrite that to 0.25x. Well, what is 0.25x? What is that 0.25? That's the constant rate of change. And the constant rate of change is the slope. So I know that if I were to write an equation for the situation uh, described above, that the slope of that equation would be 0.25. Now let's look at that a different way. We know that if they don't sell any tickets, we're not going to earn anything for ticket sales. But we know if they sold $200 worth of tickets, we'd earn $50, or 25% of $200. So, if I drew a line between those two points and then calculated the slope, I'd have a rise of 2 over a run of 8. 2 over 8 equals 1 over 4 equals 0.25. So we can calculate the slope, but we need to remember that the constant rate of change described in the problem will be the slope. The slope equals the rise over the run or the change in y divided by the change in x and in this case it equals a rise of fifty dollars divided by a run of two hundred dollars or point two five. Well now we're getting somewhere. We know, the, we know the slope of the line that we're trying to create. We know the slope of the equation that we're trying to create that will describe how much the band gets paid. That slope is 0.25 or 1 quarter. If we know the slope, then we're part of the way to getting the, the equation y equals the slope times x plus the y-intercept. What we need yet is the y-intercept. Could we figure that out? Yeah, I think we could. We could create a graph, and we could graph that point that we know on this graph. 
we know that we earned $125 when they had ticket sales of $300. So let's put that point right there. And we know the slope of the line that we're looking for is 1 over 4. So in other words, from the original point, we'll rise 1 and run 4. 1 over 4. And we can put a second point. And then we can draw a line through those points and find out where it crosses the y-axis. Y Let's just draw a line between those two points and we'll see that it crosses the y-axis at $50. So now we know the y-intercept, $50, and we know the slope, 0.25. Can we write the equation? Sure we can. y equals 0.25x plus $50. Well, that last problem was really pretty hard. If you understood it, you're doing well. If you didn't understand it, let's try a couple simpler problems and see if we can get you up to speed. You're going to need some graph paper, so if you've got some, hit the pause button and try the problem. If you don't have any graph paper, hit the pause button and print some graph paper that's available at Master Math under Supplies, Plain Graph Paper. You know a point on a line, and that point is 5, 9. You know that the slope of the line is 1. What's the equation for the line? Well, if we want to figure out the equation, we need both the slope and the y-intercept. We've got the slope. We need to figure out the y-intercept. And to do that, we need to graph the line. So, to graph the line, I'll plot the first point that I know on there. I know 5, 9. So I got to 5, and I go up to 9, and then I'll plot that point. And I know what the slope is. The slope is 1. M equals 1, which means I rise 1, and I run 1. So I know a second point right there. Now, if I've got two points, all I got to do is draw a line between them and I can find out what the y-intercept is. And this line crosses the y-axis at 4. So I know my slope and I know my y-intercept so I can create the equation for that line. y equals 1x plus 4. Hit the pause button get some graph paper and try this problem and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. You and your mother rent a metal detector to look for valuables at the beach. Cost $13.50 to rent the detector for two hours. Cost $19.50 to rent the detector for four hours. Write an equation that calculates how much the, de the metal detector costs for any amount of hours. Well, write an equation. We need slope and we need the y-intercept. But they don't give us either the slope or the y-intercept here. What are we going to do? Well, they do give us two points. We know that it was 1350 for two hours and we know it was 1950 for four hours. So a pretty good place to start is to graph it and put those two points on it. For two hours it cost thirteen fifty. For four hours, it cost nineteen fifty. Well, now I need to draw a line through those two points so I can figure out both the slope and the y-intercept. Let's figure out the y-intercept. Now let's figure out the slope first. The slope is the rise over the run, and the slope equals a rise of six divided by a run of 2 or 3. How about the y-intercept? Well, that's where this line crosses the y-axis. And it crosses the y-axis at 750. So now I know the slope and I know the y-intercept. I can put the equation together. y equals the slope times x plus the y-intercept. y equals 
3x plus 7.5. Okay, in this problem, you buy a goldfish that's one year old and that's three inches long when you buy it. And the salesman says that the fish will grow at a constant rate of change of one half inch per year. Can we write an equation that shows how big the fish was at birth and how long it will be at any age? Well, we know two things in this equation. We know what the slope is. The slope where the constant rate of change is one half inch each year. That's one half inch per one year. And we know one point. We know at one year it was three inches long. So let's graph it. After one year, the fish was three inches long. So we can put a point right there. And we know it's going to grow a half an inch each year. So in two years, it would grow one inch. So after two years, it would be not three inches, but four inches. Well, now we know two points, and we know the slope. So all we need is the y-intercept. To figure out the y-intercept, all I have to do is draw a line through those two points and see where it crosses the y-axis. And it seems to cross the y-axis at about two and a half inches. So now I know the slope, which is one half inch per year, or one inch per two years. And I know what the y-intercept is, two and a half inches. If I know those two bits of information, I can create an equation. My slope is one-half, or 0.5, and my y-intercept is 2.5, so my equation is y equals 0.5x plus 2.5. Well, now you realize you could be a great manager of a rock and roll band because you're pretty good at math. Let's try to get better at math. Let's go to mastermath.info and download the worksheet on writing, writing equations using a point and a slope. After you've done that, go back to Master Math and take the quiz on writing equations using a point and a slope. Well, I hope you had a really good time, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.